should have just wasted a couple more hearts because I sort of knew I'd get some when I blew that up. Sort of knew I'd get some. I don't know why I'm so tired. Oh, wrong button. I hate this setup for rooms. It's just annoying. Really annoying. Always easier to take these little dudes out first. And then aim for these. Come on, step down. Step up to the streets. Fantastic film. A lot of people really hate it. Step up. Oh, step up to the streets, the second one. I genuinely watched that eight times in the cinema, and I know it was eight times. I had a free a cinema card for Cineworld. Uh, it's a cinema in Britain. Um, that was... At the time, it was twelve pound fifty a month. That was roughly two films a month, and I could watch no matter what. No matter what, I could watch as many films as I could cram into a day for the whole month. So at one point, me and my mates from college would watch. You know, oh, should I give him coins? Yeah, well, you know, we'd watch maybe six films if we could cram them in in a day on the weekend. Oh. Oh, it's the map. Nice. Ah. That was good timing. So, of a weekend, and like if you were out college early on a Friday, if you had all that together, we could watch like 15, well, near 15 films of a weekend if you wanted to sit there all weekend and just watch it. We saw some pretty bad films, though, because you don't. You only ever go to the cinema if there's something you really want to see, but when you have the ability to watch any film you want for free, basically for free, you get into the habit of just watching anything and everything. Oh crap, this is kind of a hard situation to be in. Space Chimps fell asleep during that film, because I've been up, um, <laughs> done it all night and night before, but that film was absolutely horrible. Not one of us enjoyed it. It was my idea to go watch it because there wasn't really anything else on it. It was between that and... Oh, crap. Take the pills. Oh, bad gas. That, between that and a um, something else that was awful. Probably a romantic comedy of some sort. But um, I remember falling asleep in the cinema and waking up to what I can only explain was a floating nipple that was speaking. I'll see if I can find a picture and put it up uh, now if possible, if I can find it somewhere on the internet, which I should be able to. But it was it was just rather trippy, I went, fell, fell asleep in the cinema. Waking up in the cinema is a weird place to wake up, you know, even you have that sort of few seconds where you're like, this isn't my room, I've just woke up and where the hell am I? But then to see this big nipple on this bright screen in front of you talking, like what? I'm not too sure how I got on this subject, but yeah, okay. What a horrible night to have a curse. Not a good time to use that, I guess. Only last one room. But yeah, probably should have waited for a boss. Oh, screw you. There you go. Gets poisoned and dead birds out, which means it'll help me take care of some of these. There we go. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. Boom. And there it goes. So that's where the boss is, which means it's going to be a lot of backtracking for this, for this part of the caves. Go oh, free room. Gotta love the free rooms. And then you gotta hate these ones with all the double flash. I'm not getting a lot of keys, am I? I hope I find a key some point during this because it's always bad to leave a crown room. Un untouched, unopened, because there's always something that's going to help you in there. Damn it, wanted a key. Oh, more of you guys, God's sake. Yeah, you stay over there, buddy. Oh, shit, cornered. Oh, but I got a little bit of health back. Got two of them out, and my dead bird's out now. There we go. It's all good, it's all good, don't worry, guys. Stop panicking. I said stop panicking! Nobody needs to panic. There's the key. Broken mirror. Oh, don't remind me. Yeah, I'm a very superstitious person. I 
sat on my fiance's mirror. No reflection. Oh, it's those weird ones that come back here. Yeah. Well, I sat on the mirror um, over Christmas, and I'm trying my hardest to get like that's that's the best oh, excuse to stop being superstitious when you sit on a mirror. The, the worst of the worst when it comes to superstition. Seven years of bad luck. I've already had enough years of bad luck. I don't want another seven. But, uh, I am I am overly superstitious. Oh crap, I hate these ones. Oh god, and they shoot five. Shit. Um, doing pretty well though. I'm a dodging. Ah oh, crap. And he wants to set that and mess up. Oh no 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 don't die, don't die. There we go. But yeah, I I knock on wood, I don't walk under ladders. I don't walk over three of the weird things you see in the street. There was like parts that they can lift up in the pavements to check the gas pipes and stuff. I don't know what they're for. But you don't walk over three of them. You don't split a pole so you don't walk either side of a lamppost or else you have to spit on the floor or else you get struck by lightning. Stupid things like that. I'm not... Uh, it's more of a, like, you know... I, I don't feel as though I necessarily believe in it. It's just a just-in-case thing because it can't hurt to not do something that could possibly, you know, end bad for you. Oh! Why did that happen? Is that the, the Horror of Babylon thing? Is that my other secret ability? I don't know. So when I'm about to die, I get this. Cool if it is. Oh, fucking hell, the same room again. Oh, it is, I think. Because I have that ability, I turn into this at the end of my life to give me an extra chance, a dying chance. So you fucking die. I'm having difficulty remembering which are my bullets coming back at me and which are enemy bullets. Which is not a good thing to be doing. Come on. I hate the way they do that, such an annoying enemy. Oh, this isn't too bad. Oh, yeah, because I've got a half a heart back now, so. Shit. No! It killed me in one! I didn't know that would kill me in one. Oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> see, she has a cat called Guppy as well. Hmm, what a coincidence. Um. Thank you very much for watching guys, uh, I've been Conor here and this has been The Binding of Isaac, hope to catch you next time, stay safe.